Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. In this video, we learn to draw example five of orthographic projections using the Solid Edge software. For more videos on Solid Edge software, subscribe to my channel Learn and Draw. Let's read the question. Draw the three principal views of the component as shown in the figure. So you can see this is the uh, machine component okay so the arrow mark here showed this will be the front view and uh, this will be the top view and this one will be the left view okay so we have to since they have given the left view we have to draw the left view in the right profile plane okay so that is we have to draw front view here at the left end next below that the top view and we have to draw the left view on the right profile plane. Now, let's start drawing. So, when we open the Solid Edge software, we get the page like this, okay? For drawing the orthographic projections among these options, so we'll select here drawing a page like this appears next at the bottom at the sheet number one so we'll right click this go to sheet setup so here we'll change it to a4 sheet since we are taking the printout in the a4 sheet unclick the show background and click ok here select fit okay so now let's uh, see the uh, question so you can see on the right side this is the uh, question that is this will be the front view of the object so the top side will be the <coughs> top view of the machine component and this will be the left side of the machine component okay so you have to draw front top and the left views since we have to draw the left view we have to draw the left view in the right profile we have to draw the left view in the right profile plane because left view will be seen on the right profile plane okay so first let's draw the front view for that first select the line so here we'll go to normal line okay so then let's draw a line like this next name this as x and y okay so now uh, first let's draw the front view let's see what are the points that we can see in the front view so we can see this 120 mm length next this height height here it is 20 mm okay so then uh, there are two circles here one of 20 mm diameter and the second circle is of 30 mm radius so these points we have to draw in the front view okay so let's draw this for that select a line here next change this line to visible line okay so then uh, in this line somewhere so we'll uh, draw the line of length equal to 120 mm okay so next what will be the height as i said height will be 20 so i will draw here 20 mm next join to this end so next let's draw the uh, center line okay so for drawing the center line here I will select the line so then I will select here center line so next determine the center point so here on this line see this center dot will be the center point so from here I will draw a line like this so next at this center point so we have to draw two circles one of 20 mm diameter second one is of 30 mm radius okay so i will go here circle at the center point so next change this to visible next at this center point i will draw first one diameter 20 press enter so next again radius is 30 press enter okay so next step is to trim the unwanted parts so for that i will here select the trim option okay so next uh, i will trim this line this line 
this line trim this line this line and this line okay so next what i will do is i will select here a line extend to next like this okay so here also we will select this line and make it as center line now the front view of our machine component is completed so next step for us is to draw the top view okay so let's see what are the components we can see in the top view in the top view the length is 120 mm and the height is 45 mm okay so then what are the points we can see we can see this line okay so next this line okay so next the circle here will be not seen but it will be present so we have to draw this circle in the dotted line in our top view okay so to draw the top view first let's draw the projection lines from the front view okay so for that here we'll select line next go to normal line right so next uh, we'll draw a line like this at some convenient length next from here we'll draw a line next so now we have drawn all the lines okay so next let's draw the top view so first select the line option next here we'll select the visible line next from here we'll draw a straight line which will touch to this one next what will be the uh, width here it is given to be as 45 mm so we'll type 45 mm and press enter next join up to this line next close this so next what are the other parts that are seen so we can see this line and this line okay so for that again from here we'll draw a line which will touch here next again from here we'll draw a line which will touch up to this line okay so now the circle which is not seen in the top view but it will be present so we have to draw this in the dotted line okay so for that we'll go here and select the hidden line okay so next from here we'll draw up to this point next from here we'll draw up to this point now the top view of the machine component is completed next step is we have to draw the left view okay so left view will be always drawn on the right profile plane so first let's draw the right profile plane so for that we will select the line option next here we will go to normal line next here somewhere i will draw the right profile plane so name this as x1 y1 rpp next to draw the left view so we have to take the projection lines from the front view as well as the top view so before that let's draw the 45 degree line for the drawing projection lines from the top view so for that select the line option here so from this point we'll draw a line randomly next angle between this line and this line so name this as 45 degree okay so now let's draw the side view okay so first let's draw the projection lines select the line option next let's draw the projection line from here next from here next next from the bottom of this circle next from this point okay so next let's draw the projection lines from the top view that is draw a line like this up to this 45 degree line and then project it upwards next again draw from here draw a line up to the 45 degree line and then project it upwards so these lines are unwanted so here we'll select the trim option and then trim these lines okay so this will be our uh, 
left view okay so for that we have to darken these uh, lines so to darken what we have to do we have to split these lines so for that so we'll go to here split option okay so first select this line split it here next select this line split it here select this line split it here select this line split it here next select this line and split it here select this line and split it here okay so next from the top view again select the line and split it here select this line and split it here okay so now we have split all the lines now let's darken this line so select this all the lines next here let's uh, go to visible lines now see all the lines are darkened so from the left view this circle will be not seen okay so we have to hide these lines for that select this line and then the bottom line next go to hidden so now the left view will be completed so the last step for us is to name all the parts dimension this and then give the directions so let's do this so this is front view top view left side view next let's take the dimensions select smart dimension and then this is 20 mm this is 45 next this is 120 radius of 20 next this arc is radius of 30 okay so these are the dimensions and the naming of the views so last step is we have to give the directions okay so for that here we have to select here call out button okay then select okay so here give the uh, directions like this now from the front view to the side view so you can give the directions like this So after giving all the directions, dimensions and naming the views. So this completes the example 5 of orthographic projections. So for more videos on solid edge software, subscribe to my channel, learn and draw.